Welcome back, Space Engineers. KBW back here again. Looks like the sun might be coming up soon. So I want to try to get something built before the sun gets up too high. Uh, still don't have any power coming in. All the lighting glitching. Anyways, so what we want to do is... We need to build a rover. Refill my uh, tanks really quick. The only thing I've done is I, I did dismantle those two large engines. Because we don't need them. I'd rather have the components. Is I need steel plates. So I will grab 200 of them just to have. And trying to build a ship right directly on the ground isn't necessarily the best idea. Because it might not lock to the ground. Because when you start a ship, it starts off with a landing gear. And even though I'm building a rover, you still need that initial landing gear to, uh, to build it. So I want to make a flat platform on which to build said rover. So what we do is hit G to bring up our little menu. We're going to make a new station. Now it's going to lock vertically like this. If we hit B, it can, we can rotate. We should be able to rotate it around. But that's not what we want. We want it locked to the ground. Just like that. We're going to build it kind of away from the uh, lander. And hit G. Our light armor block and our slope, we've already got them on there. And start building a platform. Uh, it turned red because I'm, I'm standing inside where the block would be placed, so you gotta walk out a little bit. Jumping up on this can be a pain in the butt. So what I like to do is I'll let five up at the slope ramp. Rotate it. Not that way. That way. Which will also be easier for when the rover is completed, we can just drive right off of it. If you wanted to, you can get fancy. There's a light armor corner block. And what that does is right here, from the other way, rotate around. This just fills in that corner. It's not needed right now. Now, to start a brand new ship, hit G. Small ship. Just a selenium gear. I can't place it down because I was stupid and I didn't remember any construction components. So I'll keep those. I'll grab a hundred of them. Um, blocks are going to be our main concern at first. I'll grab another hundred of those. For now, that's fine because I just need to make a frame. So I'll place you right there. I'm not going to complete it because we're actually going to destroy it later on. And it's not going to be needed. But it's going to lock to the platform and not move. So I'm four and put it right on top. Too high. Now, 
we can use our jetpack and fly around, but that uses up hydrogen fairly quickly, and we're kind of far from the lake bed. So, uh, one tip to do is to place an armor block or a slope block somewhere. You can use this for like scaffolding. When you place a block like this now, it's a large block, but if you place it on a small one, a small ship, it's going to be a small block. Three and three. Now I'll misplace that block, I'll take my welder or grinder out and get rid of that one. If by some chance you accidentally missed the wrong one. Yeah, that happens. That's the only way to fix it. Three in that way. Three in that way. Now these we do want to weld up. Now when you start to build something, it's going to be gray. The default color is gray. And that gets kind of boring and ugly after a while. That block I'm not going to weld because it's going to be destroyed too. If you wanted to color your ship, you can do it automatically. Not automatically. Um, that would be a green block. You can, however, if something is already placed, like this frame is, select your block again and hold middle mouse button and it'll, you can paint each individual block. Or if you shift middle mouse button, it'll do a group, like a 4x4 four four grid. I think I got them all. Yep, got them all. And we'll just leave it on that color and keep, keep the... Uh, profile. So we want G. Now if you look here there's tires. These are just plain tires and they will not rotate at all. We need the suspension ones. These 3x3 three three are a pretty good size for a ship this size. So 6. I'm going to put it right here on the end. i got to rotate these. they got to be oriented the right way. That way you want a flat edge on the outside rotate it so the piston is up on the top and it places the wheel automatically. Now the wheel cannot be placed because I was standing in the freaking way. Carefully. Like that. These are heavy, so I'm going to grab 10 small teal tubes. I'll grab 100 of them. dot. 
there's no power there's no uranium in it if there were it would be green so we're running completely off of battery power now fully recharged in four days yeah this is some solar power that's all we have now yep they're green we're getting a little bit of power from them we can go back down and access our terminal it teed it is a seat I know it should feel critical um solar panel they're outputting almost a kilowatt and as the sun comes up higher it'll generate more and more okay back to the belt so oop, I forgot to tire what do we need here Space Engineers has a bug, a pretty severe bug, where if you're standing too close to a tire just the right way, you might just randomly die. Just a heads up, so I don't actually want to get too close to those tires. You're in the way. There we go. Four. We'll continue this. Oops. There's our basic frame, we have wheels, we need a cockpit. Now we can use a regular cockpit, like that, but we'll need to do some things. Another popular, popular thing to do is to put a regular passenger seat, but then we need to do something more complicated and put a remote control block and control it remotely. I don't want to do that right now. We'll do it the, the easier way. But there's a mechanic involved now that we gotta have to deal with, with oxygen because it's actually a closed cockpit and if you sit inside that thing, you're, uh, there's no air. So we need to type in a vent, which is right there in our vent. So we'll go with seven and put that right up on top. Interior plates. Luckily, I have a bunch of them. They are right 
here. Grab a hundred for now. Get my ramp back. Seven, get our cockpit back. Place it right in the middle. There we can place it. Back to our welder. Now I need displays, computers. Now it says on the very top of that where the cockpit is that we need bulletproof glass. We need 30 of them. That's not the case. We do not need need them. They're not a critical component for it. Once we put the computers and displays in there, it'll actually be a uh, operational piece. I'll show you that in a second. Computers and displays. Grab 10 computers. I don't remember how many displays we need, but I'll grab 10 of them just in case. Go up to the front of it. Oh, not enough. I need five more computers. Now, there's a, a lot of this space engineers <laughs> running back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Even if, you have, if I were to have a cargo container outside here, you're still constantly running out of materials. There, now, it went up to 22% not the bottom of that window there. It's above the red line, so it's actually a usable piece. Um, it's actually useful for hacking stuff if we ever get into a, a fight with some pirates and want to commandeer their ship or something, or if you're playing with other people and you want to hack into their stuff. You, as long We'll get to that some other time. But, just for all intents and purposes, it's above that red line. It's a usable piece of equipment. We don't need it. So now we need to put an air vent on here. And right there, there's a small conveyor port, excuse me. And if I rotate this around, there's a small conveyor port for that. So we just gotta match them up and place it. Oop, wrong one. I'm gonna weld it. Now I'm gonna need two metal grids. This actually takes a long time to weld for this piece. It's not going to make it. I need two metal grids. This is going to be a quite critical component. So the uh, air vent. It's a newer, newer mechanic with oxygen. But we're going to need it. And now we can't actually do anything with the system yet until there's power on it. Power. We need power. So I don't remember how to make. What the heck was that? Sun. I need my own power actually. Recharge here at the station. Okay. Oh, battery. Oh, there's right there. There's battery. Don't need a cockpit, don't need the vent. For the battery, we need two computers, 20 power cells, five construction components, and 25 steel plates. So computers, power cells, construction components. I don't have any computers. I have construction components, but I'm going to grab 100 more. Power cells. The ship came with 240, which is enough to make two large batteries. I'm going to need 40 of them because we're going to make two batteries. Now that maxed me out. The thing about batteries that's changed now, if I were to grind this battery down, the power component, or the, the battery components, the ones I just grabbed, these, the power cells, I can't even grab enough of them. I don't need motors. I need three more. The, um, ten more. Those will actually turn into scrap if you break down a power cell. So that's, that's our recent change to the mechanics. But a welcome change is that batteries now come with a charge. Put two there, that way later on if I wanted to I can add a third, but I'm not going to right now.
They come with a, a slight charge on them already. Uh, so now the, the ship has power. I'm going to put my helmet back on for a minute. I'm going to climb in the seat. Bring up K, our little menu. Landing gear single peak. Not going to be. Control panel, air vent. I want to depressurize. Close out of that. We can exit out and take our helmet off. Now we can go back inside and we have oxygen inside. It's that easy. Okay. Another thing we need cargo. We need a cargo space. Now I don't need it connected to anything because we're not really going to be going anywhere and doing anything fancy fancy with it. Uh, one thing a small ship can do when you look at the cargo containers, this is um, conveyor cargo blocks. So you have a small and large. The small ships actually can use a medium cargo container as well. They're a little bit cheaper. They're pretty economical for their size. And the, they're uh, one full block size. The small cargo container is actually one small tiny little block and they don't hold anything in them. They're not even really worth mu worth putting on. But a medium one is good. And it should hold plenty for now. I can actually put two on here if I wanted. It actually might not be a bad idea that we've been hold them. Extra components. I need motors, four motors, eight motors. Uh oh. Now, another thing I forgot to do is hit C and crouch. And since I elevated this, I can walk right underneath. <laughs> motors, eight motors. More ten. Now, those are complete. Now, if I wanted to, I can go into here and start dumping off. Now these will hold 33 and 3 quarter liters, so quite a bit more than what we can hold, but not a ton. It is a small ship and it's only a medium container. Um, another thing I like to put on a rover, believe it or not, is a gyroscope. Something you need to have on a flying ship, but on a small ship, or a rover, they're good to have just to help for stability when you catch air. So somewhere here, center line, well, steel plate, of course. And I can't access it. I'm gonna slowly fall down. Oh, there we go. Those are connected, so I should be able to get steel plates. They're not connected. I'm not going to fix that. Large shield tube construction components. It's a little bit of everything. Five more steel points. Okay, so we have power, we have cargo. I need an ore detector, which is right here. An antenna. have ore detector components because of the big the big ore detector that I dismantled. And a small one only requires one. The worst part of it is the antenna is gonna require four Whoa! It just dukes a hazard that there. Motors. The antenna. Some 
eight. Two right here. Four communication and a motor. Motor I have right, I should have right here. Nope, used them all. components I'm not going to make them yet but that beacon up here has a bunch of them in here I'll see if you look I can't really reach it if you crouch there it is there I got them window there go to our welder The only thing we don't have is a way to generate more power. So, I need... How many do I need? Solar panel... 16 solar cells, so it's 32. Can I fit them? Nope. Don't need those anymore. some bulletproof glass. All these I do need two bulletproof glass and eight girders. How oh, can I reach that? I don't know if I have any in here. No, no. Okay. Girders and bulletproof glass. They are inputting kilowatt and, and a half right now because of the sun. Outputting, we shouldn't really be putting outputting in much of anything. Oh, the antenna. Um. Yeah, it should be all right. What we could do is put one to recharge and one to discharge. But these are fine just the way they are. We're not going to use anything. If you look at the fuel time, we have three days worth of fuel, which is battery time, battery charge. And that's it. The only other thing we need to do is disconnect this. Set some settings for these wheels because the default settings on wheels are um, <coughs> insane. So we need to uh, fix that quickly actually before we even do anything. I just want to get rid of you. I'm trying to think is there anything that we need need on the ship. Oh lights. Oh no forget lights. Spotlights. 
definitely need spotlights on this thing. It gets dark. Space engineers get really dark. Actually, I think we're up in the northern hemisphere because it didn't get that as dark as it normally would at night. But here we can access the back of this cargo container and just put all of our components in there. It's always good to have stuff on hand just for repairs if you need to. And we can access that one. Put all of our ore, whatever we find, in there. Okay, first and foremostly, T to get back inside. Uh, K. Want to make sure we have control wheel, control thrusters. Turn handbrake on. Main cockpit. We want to have that handbrake on because when we drop this into the ground, it's going to go rolling around, and we don't want that. Now, if we Go back to our external and rotate a little bit. If we there, the rotate. That's not what we want right now. What we want to do is these are all oddly numbered because of the ones I destroyed. The first one was placed right. After that, they weren't placed right. So. You would go to two for the second ones. I destroyed two, so I made three. I kept it. Four was good, and that one I messed up a lot. But it doesn't matter. It's for um, reference. Sorry. So what I do these. I know these two are the front two tires because I made them first. So what I like to do is select them both at the same time. Go to block group. Save them as front tires. And we can select them all. Put them in their own separate group. And at the top here, we have groups. And that way we can, as one whole group, set them to set settings and it affects them all. Like on the front tires, I want to keep the same. Actually, I'm going to do this too. Select both of them. Not tries. It's better. The rear tires I want to have set differently. Rear tire tires I want to set the steering angle down. Like 10, 11. Steering speed, I don't want to change any of that. Propulsion. For the propulsion, you can actually set your um, one set of tires to not have propulsion, but we'll, just, we'll leave it for, for now. For all tires, we want to set speed limit down, way down, because we go fast, so if there's any kind of hills. Friction, we'll kind of leave for now. Dampening, I want to give it a little bit of dampening on it. Strength, you don't want to touch much at all. Height offset. Suspension travel get down to like 50%. Have a little bit of bounce on it. Front tire should be 18, 20%. It should be good. That should be okay. So our handbrake is on. Get out. Get our grinder out. Now we want to take the landing gear out first because if we take that block, it's going to hit the landing gear and maybe cause some issues. But if I take the landing gear out first, since it's two blocks high, it's only going to hit the block. Like that. I'm going to get rid of that. We stand up. I forgot while you're in, or I forgot. If you hit L, your headlights will go off. And I hit P. Uh, what I can do is just roll in groups. Select G to bring up your toolbar config groups. Front tires, rear tires, tires. You want all tires. Um just drag it down, left click. We wanna where's it at? So 
that on here? No. Right click that, remove. Oh, I might be in cockpit. Handbrake, on off. That's what we want. Uh, lights, or detector. That's actually all good for now. So that way we can hit number nine, our handbrake is off, and we can roll. Now if you hit spacebar, it's going to be a break, but it's going to it'll still roll a little bit. It's not going to lock it, it's just going to break. Am I stuck? I'm stuck. There we go. Now hit Z to go back to your center. There we go. Let's zoom out a little bit. And we can roll. We have transportation. I don't want to get going too fast because this thing will skid and fly and things we don't... What? No, it's not. I'm trying to find one of these dark patches that's going to have some ore. How much fuel do I have? Four days of fuel. Now, we have the ore detector on board, so if there's any ore within like 50 meters, it'll show up. It's a hill, not a dark. That's gotta be a dark spot. It's just a hill. V twice to uh, reset your camera. You cheat a little bit and zoom out. That looks like a dark spot right there. Now the batteries may be dead, but there's enough solar power that's actually going to push us along. Am I going to be able to make it through that? Yeah. This looks like a spot. I don't think I saw. Iron. Perfect. We're going to stop here, hit 9 to set our handbrake, and it's not moving. Perfect. Okay. Now, because there's an antenna on there, it's relaying the information to us, because if you look down at the bottom left, it says uh, uh, broadcasting on and radio 200 meters. So as long as we're in within 200 meters of the buggy, it will relay to us information that it knows and it can talk like if the, sh the ship's too far away because it only has a range of 500 whereas that can go like 50,000 if it had a large antenna on it but we're, the, we're within 500 meters or 200 meters of the ship the ship has the ore detector so it's relaying to us where the, where the ore is and I'm st standing directly above it so we get our handy dandy driller out. I want to get off to the side because we're going to come off at an angle. Where'd it go? Our hit below us still. So. Looks like a big patch. So what I'll do is I'll get kind of close to this. Now I'll see to crouch down because usually you can't reach. You can't reach your ground. But if you get down, there we go. Oh, that's ice. Alright, so the big rock, the T, T to pick it up, because I'm not actually going to be picking up ice. I want iron. I'm going to put the ice away. I'm going to put those components in here. I just want to have as empty as a cargo as I can. Okay, you're not going anywhere. Now with the drill, 
left click to create those um, rocks but if you right click it's going to actually destroy the terrain it's not going to generate any rocks that you can pick up but it makes a bigger hole at, at one time and that's kind of what I want right now it's a big hole I'm pointing kind of downwards at an angle that way I can run up this and there's the buggy but I'm moving towards where the iron is just right clicking to break a big hole in the ground I think this is going to be a big a fairly big iron patch clipping over the walls now it's going to create these little rocks like debris but you can't pick those up they're just for whoa that should not be like that we're in a big tunnel definitely tell the iron because it's a different color than this. There it is. That's iron. It's that reddish color. Nickel kind of looks a similar color but it's that's definitely iron. So I'm going to make a big spot over here. Back. There we go. So now I'm going to left click. And you get stone. Stone is going to be a thing of nightmares. Iron ore, that's what we want. So we hit T to get that. Let's pick that up for now. We're going to need some stone later on, but we're going to have so much stone, it's ridiculous. So on the left click, I'll show you what I do with stone when I'm mining a lot. Just what I like to do is, in case this is a vein, I just want to go around the edges a little bit. Dig and dig and dig and dig and dig. Here's the, the edge a little bit. I just want to dig out some of that wire. I'm not picking any of this up right now. A lot of times, what I will do is when I'm mining, is I'll hold T and then mine. That way, it's picking up rocks as I'm going along. But right now I'm not doing that. Oh, see, now this is not generating the textures again. Last map I played did the same thing. But it's the red ones. That's what I want. Not those. I'm just going to pick them all up for now. I can hold T and just move around and kind of pick everything up at once. I'll pick up the stone just to get it out of here. Inventory is full. So, oh. Now what I did here is I made this part too steep and I can't get out, so I'll jetpack out. Just like that. Alright. Now I'll get out of the way of the rover. Hit I. Take your stone. I've got 6,000 grams of stone, kilograms of stone, and just drop it. Now I'll get that out of the way because if it hits this thing, it will cause major damage. Now I double click, get that iron in there, I'm back in the hole. And <laughs> this is another big part of Space Engineers, is especially at the beginning of the game, we'll be down here or in here in other mines for other ores. A lot. If you ever played Minecraft, you go down mining. It's the same thing. Just lots of resource gathering. Our resources just happen to be deep underground, and at this point, this gravel is like worthless. The only thing we need gravel for is making reactor components, and I think one other thing, but a minuscule amount and most of the planet is rock. We just don't want that. We want this good red stuff. Crouch and just make a big hole. 
line, pressing T. Pick this up as I go. Make a big hole. Get all the good red stuff. Iron is like the most abundant mineral there is. But it's also like one of the most used. Everything you use, everything, most of the things you make contain iron in some degree. Some things are completely iron where you'll have a mix of iron, cobalt, nickel, or silicon. Inventory full. And we get back up. Drop the stone. And you can be careful when you're doing that. I'll, I'll point downhill. That way it, it rolls and not roll, rolling onto you because it will cause damage to you also. 14,000. I'll just go pick up the stuff. All the while the buggy's recharging. Let's clean up here. I don't remember what I had my uh, number of particles set at, but these will eventually despawn. stuff. If I was down here mining uranium or something, yeah, I'd pick up every little chunk I can get. But iron is no big deal. Okay. That's it. Well, that's enough for now, at least. Keep that stone. Uh, now a good, another smart thing to do is what I like to do. I'll stand, like, right here. Hit K. GPS. New from current position. It's that one. I run iron. I know there's at least iron here. I don't know what else is going to be here yet. But let's keep that for now. Now, I have noticed if you have your drill out and you get too close to your ship in some way, it can cause damage even you're not, though you're not doing anything with it. So another thing to do is to switch to your other tool where you're not bumping up against it. T to get back in the cockpit, lights are on, park and brake off. There we go. Now I know there's iron there. Well, patch goes over here, it's, there might be something else. A lot of times iron, nickel, and cobalt are together. Or iron, cobalt, uranium. Slow down a little bit. This is just one massive iron patch, I think. Which is fine, because I'll grab a lot of it. Oh, shush. Alright, this is a huge iron patch. Oh, uh, looks like there's a patch over there. You're fine. Alright, let's get this refined. So we find our base again, which is over there. V twice to reset the camera. Oh, you're fine. If you look on the solar panels, I've got two, three bars of juice coming into them. They're fine. Do kind of want to avoid the trees, though, because they will do some damage.
but what I will do is just empty it all out, put everything in there. Iron, stone will go in there, the ice will go in the oxygen generator. Which I don't have direct access to because it's right here. But what I can do... If you put it directly into the um, the cargo container, the oxygen generator will actually suck it out like that and add it to the, not the tank. No. The oxygen generator will take it. If you use up some of your hydrogen and deplete your bottle a bit, you just drag it down, stick it back there, and it will refill it. If you have auto refill. Same with the oxygen. Oxygen tank and the hydrogen tank will do the same thing. If you have auto refill, it'll refill your tanks. But since we haven't used any of that, just go over here and fill it up this way. So, refinery is off, but it has stuff in it. So, I'm going to hit K, control panel, refinery, turn that thing on, and it's going to start sucking juice. And it is converting the iron ore into iron ingots, which can be used to make stuff. Other production, like iron steel plates, take up 2.1 iron ingots to make one steel plate. But stuff like motors are iron and nickel, so we need to go find some nickel to, get, to be able to make them. Which we'll find eventually. We'll go through that pretty quick. Iron refines very quickly. Very quickly. Put the rest of it in there. The stone will as well, which turns into gravel. And it's all of it. I'm going to wait till this is done. Because I want to shut the power off on it. I want to try to get those batteries charged up a little bit more. So refinery. Shut you off. Yeah, they got a good charge on them. We should be okay. Now, if we hit refinery, we have the gravel. This is your personal inventory. This is uh, the inventory of whatever you just clicked on. So it's cargo container one. And cargo container two has nothing in it. I'll put all my ore in that. Now if I wanted to, small cargo container, I can put, change that to like ore. Just for, to know where it all is, but I, I know that that one has all my ore in it. Um, if I wanted to make something, which I, I don't need to right now, shut those lights off. Because these I need to get charged up. Spotlights, you can actually change the radius and the intensity of them. And the color, you can change the color of them, make them blank, and do all kinds of funky stuff with them. But just to save juice on the batteries, I want everything shut off. The antenna is actually taking a lot of power, 2 kilowatts. I'm not using it right now, so I'm going to shut it off. Because I want these to charge up pretty good. To charge them faster, since I'm not going to be using it any right now, what I can do is put these both together. Save those as batteries. Now they're both linked. Put them on recharge. Now, they're not going to discharge any, and they'll just to recharge faster. But then when you get inside to go anywhere, you need to um, turn it back off. So those recharge a little bit faster now. That's been a long episode. 
done quite a bit. I think what we'll do is call it for now. And I'll think of something we can do for the next episode. I need to do some more mining, but in order to do that, I got plenty of iron. It's just a search, really. It's a big search for ore. For um, I'll scout around, try to find some more spots. Like there's the, the, the iron mine is right there, 700 meters away. Um, I'll do some scouting around. That looks good. The patch right there, actually. I could be wrong. I usually am. It's a shadow. This is really a bad idea. I don't want to die. This is a very bad idea. See, I've already gone through 50% of my hydrogen. But I have a bottle with me. So I'm not too, too worried. I'm trying to get an aerial view. I could build a... There we go. Maybe. Or use for my bottle. Nope, oh, this is a shadow. So now I have 90% hydrogen again. That's a patch, definitely. Just try to get a quick see what you are. And take a whole bunch of damage in the meantime. Silicon. Okay. So we have silicon there. Magnesium, maybe? Silicon, magnesium, uranium are usually a lot of time a lot of times together. Sometimes it can be a lot deeper and you won't actually see what they are. It would also if there's anything else with it. Until you get down down below. But silicon would be useful. We could make more solar panels with silicon. It's actually not that deep. A lot of times it'll be um or um, grouped together that silicon magnesium so there's a very good a very good chance that uranium is here also it's just a matter of finding it and it could be a lot deeper than the drill can detect this is a really big patch Magnesium, actually, we're not going to need any of because it's only used for weaponry, and um, there's no hostiles on Earth. This is a huge patch, so it's very likely that there is uranium below us somewhere. What would be a good idea a little bit later on once we have more material is to um, make a large ship a small large ship they could just hover around and oh there it is bingo I saw you I saw you that is a very good sign I am definitely marking this one. Big find right there. That is power. So I know that's there, and the silicon's over here. Magnesium. That's all. That's all magnesium. That's going to be a big uranium vein. Be like a, a big uranium find. That's awesome, actually. Um, hmm, I have an idea now of the next episode. We're going to jump ahead of the class. So this is all silicon over here. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. Silicon, we'll grab some silicon. This is 
generally not a good idea to float around like this, especially that distance. Oh, see, I'm breaking stuff. I didn't damage it at all. So we refill that. Now my bottle has 79% oxygen. Generator. Put that bottle back inside there and it'll fill it back up. So now we don't have to worry about power anymore. <laughs> That's very nice. So you're going to be filled up pretty soon. Up into what guy did. Oh. We're gonna dig that out. We're gonna get some power. So I don't have to worry about power anymore. And actually, what I can do is put a small reactor on here, which actually power the batteries faster. One small reactor on this ship, is, or this ship. We'll see how the batteries charge up. I'm in a bad spot anyways for the shadow of the ship. Um, just to power the, the uh, batteries. I need to actually get inside to see that. Uh, battery one. Really? Stored power. Max power is 1.8, 108. Yeah, I know. Am I not getting any? Nope, I'm in a shadow. So, just to fix that really quick. Charged in 13 days, 8 days. Yep. We're just recharging. Stay out of the shadows. That's the one bad thing about solar power is um the light level and I generally don't like it. I mean it's nice to have because it's reusable and you don't have to worry about your uranium. But that is a huge find and it's a it's gonna be a big patch. Just from the size of how far it was, yeah, it's gonna be massive. So we're gonna get some uranium next episode. And with uranium even in this one reactor, charging up these batteries is gonna be quick. So we solved the power problem in two episodes. That's awesome. Hmm. We'll think of something to do. We'll have a good idea. Gonna burn up to there. All right. So I'll, I'll think of what we're gonna do, and next episode should be pretty fun. And I don't know. Be a good time. Until then, fly safe.